No. Three boxes over there, I'm gonna open two. Just get to the point, mate. This one has been literally sitting in my office for two to three months, but I promise you we'll be opening it next week. But we are gonna open these two. Very nice. Oh yeah, amazing spokes. So that's box number one. Ah, ah, shit. Box number two. Solid box and not damaged. Well packed in there. You see that? Shoe box number one. Woo. Bars. Box within box. Very nice. Grand reveal. Got that right. Forky dog. <laughs> Forky dog, what a dickhead. This feels very light for an aero frame. So there she is. Welcome back to the Friday vlog series. Where today, as you can see, I'm back riding the BMC T-Machine. Got a big upgrade project on the BMC coming on the channel soon, so stay tuned. But for today's video, we're not going the two parts, we're just going the one because we've got a lot to get through with these two new products that have emerged. So let's get into it. So as mentioned, next to me here, we have two products, a frame set and some wheels that have not been available to the Western world until now. Also, I've been told, what we have here are 60 millimeter carbon, no compromise Vortex wheels valued at 2,360 USD and a Seeker, although I originally thought it was Seca, aero carbon frame set, which comes stock with a one piece handlebar included coming in at 2,360 USD dollars also. And you can now purchase these products from a site called Cycling 100 which is a new platform that has been set up with a supply chain to ship and service the needs of people in Europe, UK, USA, Canada, Australia, you name it. So for this part of the video, we're gonna discuss three topic items. Number one, why am I personally doing this project and who is Cycling 100? Number two, a high level overview of the products including weight and number three, what my content plan is with these products over the next few months. But before we talk about point number one, for transparency purposes, please know that in three and a half years of running this cycling YouTube channel, this is the very first time I've been given a bike. Haven't paid a cent, well, frame set and wheels, it's almost a bike, and I didn't even pay for postage. So I've been given the bike, and additionally, Cycling 100 will be sponsoring a select few pieces of content, including this one where I'll be linking to their website below. But please know, I haven't created this cycling YouTube channel to get free bikes as much as some people think that. I've done it because I love making cycling videos and I have full freedoms to do and say as I please relating to this project, hence why the negotiation process with them probably took a few months extra because I wasn't budging on that. I wanna be completely transparent and honest with you about the whole process and the products here. And additionally, I did think it was an outstanding opportunity for the channel, which brings me to point number one. Why am I doing this and who is Cycling 100? So first up, I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get criticized once again for doing this project. <laughs> Cam, it's just hard to take you seriously when everybody knows that you're in bed with China. I mean, I heard that you have Xi Jinping's number. Don't you know that the best bikes in the world that all the pros ride are made right here in the almighty USA? As I did with the Windspace project for promoting and talking about Chinese branded products. But the fact is, I am not a political channel. I am a cycling or bike specific channel and the vast majority of bikes are made and manufactured in China. Even these Taiwanese labeled bikes, they often outsource a lot of their manufacturing to China. So I will continue to test and review mainstream bikes. We've got Trek coming next and they outsource some of their manufacturing to China while examining these emerging brands coming out of China. And that examination is really what got me excited here. As many of you who support the channel will know, we've just wrapped up a monster project exploring the Windspace T1500 frame set where we stripped, repainted it, tested it and then compared it in a triple headed review against the Giant Propel Advance 1 and the Merida Reacto 6000. And at the conclusion of that piece, we kind of uncovered that the Windspace T1500 probably sits within the tier two aero frame set category. And when comparing it to mainstream competition, it's perhaps a little behind in terms of product engineering and design. 
what we have here, I feel like it is an excellent extension of the WinSpace project where we could just have a tier one aero frame set coming directly out of China, which is only $600 USD, more than the WinSpace might I add if we include the handlebars, although these Vortex no compromise wheels are double the price of the Hypers. And just looking with my bare eye, I can appreciate why that might be the case. In terms of Cycling 100, the company, now they've only really been a platform, a website with supply chain and logistics for a few months. They're essentially launching as we speak. But the background is kind of interesting where these people come from. The founder who goes by the name of Chain, like as in bike chain, he appears to be very well known and well regarded within the Chinese cycling industry, establishing one of the most successful bike shops in Shanghai in 2008. He's been a driving force behind some of the biggest triathlon and cycling events in China now, called the Heroes Race Series. And over the past four to five years, he's been one of China's primary commentators for the Tour, the Giro, and the Vuelta. Chain has also partnered with an expat from Leamington Spa in the UK, who's been living in China now for 10 years, named Jonathan, who's got a solid engineering background, over 30 years in aerospace and automotive, who's turned his passion into a career path by cycling 100. In fact, I spoke to him a couple of nights ago and he was bikepacking through China. He was in some dodgy hotel room. We were having a Zoom conversation. And I tell you this because it's clear that the people that sit behind cycling 100 have a passion for cycling, which I think is super important. Point number two is a brief overview of the products, including weight. So we are going to go into depth on these products I've got here in front of me in future content. For now, we're just gonna keep it high level. And Cycling 100 are essentially bringing what they call the cream of the Chinese crop to the Western world. In fact, if you go to the Seeker Bikes website, it's all in Chinese, so you'll need to translate it. And I can't even find the Vortex Wheels corporate website, although there does appear to be a few Vortexes out there, which does make things a little confusing. This Seeker bike model, though, is called their Exceed RDC, which is a tier one lighter frame set. You can see they also have what they call a standard, or I'd call it a tier two aero frame set, which comes in at a lower price point and roughly 180 grams heavier in the frame. Weighing the frame and fork, as you can see here, it does come in slightly heavier than the acclaimed weight, but there are a few bits and pieces bolted onto the frame. And we're talking about a frame set that is now on the same par or lighter than some of the tier one mainstream aero bikes. What I found most interesting to date with the Seeker brand, which was established in 2017, is they're more of a product engineering and design company outsourcing their manufacturing kind of, I would think, a little bit like a, a specialized, unlike, say, a wind space, which has been more of a manufacturing company, first and foremost, turned product engineering and design with their own labeled Winspace T1500 product, as an example. So Seeker and Winspace, if you were to compare both companies out of China, sort of coming at it from different angles. Vortex, on the other hand, they've been around for a bit longer, about 10 years, and they originated or started with a uni student studying civil engineering, building carbon wheels in his dorm room in a Chinese university. However, now the Vortex wheels have progressed quite significantly, available in three primary series, a benchmark, a competition, and no compromise series with either a 40 millimeter or 60 millimeter depth profile. Right here, I have the no compromise series wheel set which includes a Torre T800 carbon fiber construction, a two to one ratio carbon spoke design that enters the rim via offset spoke holes angled to match the spoke pattern and wheel specific ceramic bearings, giving the wheel a total weight for these 60 millimeter wheels at 1420 grams. Although according to my scales, they came in a touch over that. So my final point is what my plan is content wise over the next few months. So I first need to buy a group set, which could prove to be difficult with what's going on in the industry right now. But once that is done, we're gonna split it into three parts. We're gonna do a build video, a first impressions, and a comprehensive review with speed tests. So if all that sounds up your alley and you're keen to follow along with this project, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and you gotta hit the bell to ensure you get notified of when the videos go live. And of course, if you're getting value out of this content, you're enjoying it, please don't forget 
to give the video a like. I'll catch you in the next video. You and I, we go together like birds and the sky. From the moment that you caught my eye, knew that I was falling in love.